So today we're going to play a game called Oxenfree, an older game from 2016, but it looks pretty interesting. It's about a group of friends who go camping on a military island, where apparently you can pick up spooky radio channels if you stand in the right area, and a few other supernatural things happen along the way, I believe. Well, let's get into it. Hey, so while I was editing the video, I noticed I'd recorded my game audio and my mic audio on the same track, a bit of a rookie error. Since my mic audio was too low, I've just cut it out altogether, so you get a better quality overall. Enjoy. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man! Those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Mission control to Alex. This is Big Papa. Yeah, you... um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating your food. Smelling up your bathroom. I, uh, have my own tooth. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it, like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. Soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like. Why? Shouldn't we wait until we get there or at least meet up with the others? No, no, no. This is the core unit anyway. The rest are like our guest stars. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need a girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out. Alex, we're not taking the... There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so 
Hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> Okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all... No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh. There's not much to miss, to be honest. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard about your mom. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know... What are you gonna do? We can... Catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, 
The USS Canaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Clapman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962 and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Hello, well, kids. we're here. Look, the Maybe other guys and girls must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh -huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sound. No way, come on. Alex has always been a devout skeptic, even though the fourth grade field trip proved it without a shadow of a doubt. I wasn't even there. I couldn't go, remember? Oh, why how convenient. So back up a second, who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other Man, side of- That woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving, never leaving, just there. All the time. Yeah? Why wouldn't I be? If you're happy, you're happy. Why would you move? Yeah. Why would you? Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... Huh. Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. Rent, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because you're my friend? And I'll miss you if you go? That's what a friend does. They miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah. Never mind. I don't need you to look out for me. College is college is college. Who cares if I play beer pong here or in Vermont or anywhere else? It doesn't matter. Okay, well, we're just going to table this discussion for when I'm better prepared and I can destroy you. <sighs> Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm going to have a really good time. Oh, shut up. What else would you be doing? Good point. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm...
blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh, perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Who's that? That's so. There's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? Deal? Be cool. Don't be like just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies. What was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. It's not a big deal, really. Just forget about it. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can wait. Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah, everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's- Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> That's, um, I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah, um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um, uh, her mom is marrying my dad, so, you know. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. Uh, yeah. who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ryan invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting... Well, sorry. I accept your apology. Thanks. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now... So what's your take on it so far? I would say Ren and Alex out there popular at school. They just love hanging out together. But it seems it's about to change with Nona now on the scene. See how Alex takes that. Uh, what do you think of Clar Clarissa? I reckon she puts herself in the more popular category compared to the rest of them. But anyway, it's got my interest. So yeah, let's get back to it. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, 
thing to do here, other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as- No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm-hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just say so. I mean, I, I I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. All oh. right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary Screw Kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Earth to Alex. This is Mission Control. You read me? Hey, honey, if you don't answer, that's a forfeit, and a forfeit's the same as a lie. Which means the penalty's the same. Fine, whatever, I forfeit. You want to smack me? Be my guest. Okay, well, march over here like a good girl so I can. Come on, Alex, it's time for your medicine. Slapping medicine. It's good for what ails ya. Oh! Yikes. Ugh, a little hard, don't you think? Okay, now, really? God, you practically dislodged a tooth. It's called truth or slap, not truth or lightly caress someone's face. Yeah, we know, but still, man. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Um, Nona. <laughs> yes. All right, let's uh, make it something uh, fun and Ever, easy. Ever uh, pee in a swimming pool? Uh, no. Super question. You're like an investigative journalist or something. Um, Nona, you're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A small black spot so she could tell everyone it was just a mole. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am going to get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I I don't... I don't really need to know the situation before... Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how can we be- You know why. Michael 
died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should, like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying. This is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. We Whenever never talked you're about ready. Dawn. So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? I don't know. A one? Renz pulled me into a closet to look at a broom he swore looked like Abraham Lincoln, so adjust your expectations accordingly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. It's true. Kind of. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could have and you didn't, so thanks. Well, you can make the checks out to cash. We'll have an installment plan. Whatever it takes. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Just get on with it. What do I do? Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna wanna stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... It's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Who cares, it doesn't matter. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... 
Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Yeah, it did to me. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. If you want to bring it on over... So, yeah, it sounds, uh... Satanic. Not what I was gonna say, but close enough. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last... Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. That Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. No, come on, get up. Help me get Jonas before he hurts himself. Uh, I don't think I can really do anything right now, uh, at least for a few hours. Hours? You know, the stuff. Ah. <sighs> Ren. Hmm. Shona Fana. Forget it. Well, while Clarissa's being a bitch and uh Ren's cooked in a cave, we better go and find Jonas, say. Eh? If anyone knows Morse code, I'd love to know what the uh what we're picking up on the radio. I bring an ashtray down here or a pen. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear ah, me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me! I had no idea where you were! I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? 
I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. It's crazy. No, it's, uh... it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Echoes? Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. Uh, there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. What is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those, um, exist, right? Sure, why not? Let's go with that for the time being. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? You think? Definitely. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. insane uh who are are you who are you on the listen bob tail shame tail sleeping time is possible i i i don't know what you mean so i can't bob tail leave children bye see you soon alex What the hell 
was that? That was a bit creepy. I've got no idea what it was saying. They seem to understand some of it. And they got teleported to some underwater place. Alex! Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I... I think so? I don't know. God. Do I look alright? You look... alive, I guess. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. Oh, and not for nothing, I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it, but if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, what? You think I somehow teleported us here? If I could do one-tenth of what happened back there, I wouldn't haze the new kid. I'd rob a bank. Maybe that's your Wednesday. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> oh, grow up. Oh, come on. You know that's amazing. Dick Harden? And they named a tower after him? It's alright, it's a soaker. You'll get it later. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. <sighs> it's locked. Let me try. It's locked, Jonas. I'm not playing here. No, I know. Just give me a second. What's the expression? Skills of a misspent youth? That's not an expression. A little help? Just have a little faith. See? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Is, um, is anyone there? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. <sighs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Horror Island? Um, I don't know. Fence should be off now. Great, but, um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. There's a dial tone, but... There's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Ah! 
Jesus! Hello? Alex? Alex? When? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ! Thank Vishnu! I... You guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I... I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's... It's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level Why? 10. How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have, like, passed out or... I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do, like, check-ins, maybe? What's that sound? Is there a cat crying in there? Wait, Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick. Seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alex? Why are you answering it? This... It says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And... Uh, I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. Look, I... Clarissa, just... You have a radio. Work it out for yourself. Ren needs my help. Wait, Alex. Ren? Just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really... Not great. Look, Alex, just... Whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do, don't... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. Clarissa, you still there? She hung up too, of course. So, want a truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh, yeah. If we can connect to the mainland and get somebody over here, we should do it as soon as we can. My thoughts exactly. Well, after the wild map reappears, I think that's a good spot to end the episode. It seems that Ren and Clarissa have had a similar experience to us, with no sign of Nona. What do you think of it so far? Leave a comment and a like if you enjoyed.